So with FC25 here, we have got a new season. Now it is slightly different as it is now season points rather than XP. The way that you want to have a look at this is if you go into objectives, if you press LT, you should then be able to see the FC season. I don't know why it's not there at the moment, but you can do it that way. And we can have a look through what we've got to actually get. So obviously you get bundle rewards, you can then get players, player packs as normal. And it seems to be, this is going to be the way forward. So we can go all the way to the end. We get a couple of loans. And then obviously we get to the likes of Smith as a loan, more bundles, and then all the way to to the end and we should be able to see that we do get an icon loan as well and at 37 we do get a loan bail which is very interesting adama is obviously at 38 we have a new evolution at 39 and then finally an 87 times free at level 40. if you need coins in fc25 lootbar.gg has you covered they are the cheapest trading platform on the game, 8 to 10% cheaper than any others, 8% off if you use the code JT11 at the end at checkout, plus you get 5% extra on coins. With the fastest delivery system going, used by many FC25 creators such as Zorki, Manny Plus, and even Pro Owners. So if you need any coins, head over to lubar.gg, make sure JT11's in the promo code, and hopefully you enjoy. Now, the way that we get points is going to be through objectives as always, and that's going to be the main contributing factor. You've got the weekly rush objectives, which as you can see, earn 5,000 rush, 10,000, 35, 50, and 70. Alongside that, we will get a coin boost. Then you've also got the different, uh, different style of objectives from seasonal, which some of them might not give you points, some of them will. The exact same way that we normally do when it comes to weekly and daily objectives. Obviously here, we've got the play five, win three, score five, play three, and play free rush. We then obviously got the daily, which is score uh, goals, which is three of them, playing two matches. We also then have the icon home and away kit. That is going to be another extra boost. And then when it comes to the milestones and stuff like that and the foundations, there's not going to be anything there. So it is going to be mainly in your seasonal and in your weekly rush objectives. And also if they give us anything else, they, they can still give us stuff. Obviously they can add to the timeline, but we are going to be mainly looking at the weekly rush, the seasonal, and any anything else they bring out so more than likely we'll see something more at 6 p.m potentially more tomorrow if anything so it will be interesting to see where we go from there but it is just going to be the same setup more than likely we see some on friday that's going to give us more uh, sp so instead of xp just change it for sp and that's all you've got to do it's pretty standard obviously the icon kit and away home and away is what we've seen every single year let me know down below if you are excited for this year are you grinding this out already and hopefully we should be able to get quite far even just with that seasonal objective to start with because obviously with that we should be able to get a fair few decent stuff obviously you can go and look at it individually which is mental but you do get the the free four well, is it one two three four and five hundred points alongside some extra points once you finish all of that off so technically you could do that right now even if it is going to take you that a little bit longer but fc25 is here let me know how you get on